do have more story mode. We have part 14. So we're finally moving on to the next actual portion of the story. So I'm very excited to start this. It's part 14, Showdown, Menacing Assassins. So book one, chapter one, God of Destruction, Beerus makes his move. Oh, we getting Beerus in here now. I mean, obviously he did go in the portal, but now he's actually going to do something. So that's going to be interesting. Uh, obviously again, Zaha. Uh, uh, do I want to use this team? Uh, do I have another team here somewhere? Universe rep. We'll, we'll use these guys. Also, no, I'm recording this super early in the morning. I am beyond exhausted. All right. <clears throat> With their sights set on Zaha, the group of warriors led by the god of destruction Beerus ventured through the hole in space-time. Goku, Gohan, Whis, and Beerus, all four soon found themselves face to face with Zaha himself. So, if you're here to take us on, then what happened to the others who jumped through? I'm sure that by now they've arrived on some uh, some of the other planets I prepared. Planets from other points in time. Yeah, because oh, that's great. Mm-hmm. That means we got to cook. Let, right, you got to get this man out of here, bro. I'm so sick of the trio of dangers right now. My pawns should be finding them at this very moment. Allow me to spell things out for you even further. You've been separated. You've completely fallen into my trap. Oh, okay. If they're alive, then there's nothing to worry about. I mean, again, Goku's not really the sharpest tool in the shed, so... Yeah. I wouldn't underestimate them if I were you. They may not know the fates of our allies, but you must be proud of your pathetic little trap if you'd show yourself before me. I didn't realize you were so conceited. If you can so easily scatter our forces, why not find some place safe to sit back and relax? I'm afraid I can't uh, quite do that. The likelihood of someone other than myself beating you, uh, beating all of you seemed far too low. I do, however, realize who I'm up against. So I'm supposed, uh, I suppose, even I may stand a chance of losing, slim though it may be. Slim, huh? I knew it. You really are taking us lightly. Let's do this already, Lord Beerus. Zaha, that goes for you too. It's time to cut the chit chat and fight. Very well, let us begin. Now we're talking, I'm going up first. Oh, he went straight to Super Saiyan Blue. Oh, oh, he is not playing boy. What? You're planning on fighting him alone, Dad? You Saiyans never learn. Oh well, suit yourself. Let's find somewhere to watch Goku fight from a safe distance, shall we? Good idea. Yeah. Hey, Dad. Good luck out there, okay? Thanks. Oh, coming at me all by your lonesome, are we? Have you forgotten the last time, or that last time, even against three of you, I walked away without a scratch? There's no way I could forget that. But there was a lot going on with trying to rescue Shallot and everything. That's not going to happen this time. There's nothing I need to think about except this fight. If he activates Kaioken, bruh, nah, chill out, nah. It's the only reason why he would be trembling, like, while, you know, he's on Super Saiyan Blue. Unless for whatever reason he's going to activate Ultra Instinct. Because remember, uh, this story takes place after the Tournament of Power. So, if he could somehow harness the power of Ultra Instinct suddenly, that would be dope. Let's, let's see. Okay, huh? This is... Kaioken! Kaioken is time, boy! All right, nah, bro. We, we starting off with that fire. All right. We are starting off with that fire. Okay. That color. That's using Kaioken on top of his... A uh, blue Super Saiyan form. Hmm. Come on, Zaha. Let's see how uh, you hold up against this. Hey, you know, it's, it's full power. No, again, I can't hear anything, so if Goku's saying something, I don't know. But this is Fire Boy. 
Yes, sir. So we're starting off strong. Whoa. Whoa. I know y'all saw that, bro. I, I know y'all did. It's, it's the same Zaha art. But he has like a sinister look on his face. Oh, man. We, we are getting to it. All right. Uh, Jaren, you're going in. So now, like, we're fighting like Zaha. You know what I'm saying? Like, we went from like, you know, the GOAT healer to nah. Like, this dude is actually an insane villain. Like, it's, it's time. Whoa, wait. Did his fighting style change? Wait, I might actually take an attack just to see. Make him faint. Darn it. All right, I'm going to... I want him to hit me with strike. No, okay, his his attack is still the same. Uh, I, I thought his combo changed for a second. It seemed like it did, but it, it didn't. Which is fine. Whatever. Uh, yes. Key blast. All right, Goku. Hey, Goku's cooking a little bit. All right, Rising Rush. Die! Bro, this is Zaha. He's dead. Send him out. Talking about 40%. He's dead. Goodbye. Oh, well, he's alive. <laughs> Shout out to the story. This is my full power. And also, uh, is this the first time that uh they've actually given us an ultra unit? To use in the story mode? I'm pretty sure it is, because we definitely didn't get Ultra Super Saiyan uh, Goku uh, in story mode. We definitely didn't get uh, Ultra Vegeta. We didn't get Ultra uh, Super Gogeta either. We definitely didn't get Ultra... No, we never... We never got to uh, use any of the villains, obviously. So, uh, yeah, uh, apart from Zaha, because at the time he wasn't. Uh, I, I don't know. So, it it's just weird just using an Ultra unit in story mode that the game provides for you is what i'm trying to say all right uh let's continue dialogue chapter okay oh and i could have cleared that without rush too i would have knocked out everything ha yeah <laughs> and there's the omnificence crystal he has a barrier fantastic that must be that's right the omnificence crystal how unfortunate for you Hey, we did. Wait, did he kind of dodge that? Damn it! How about this? Whoa, hello. What? Solar Flare? He dodged it. Hello? I don't know what he did. Now, that was a close one. Your reaction speed is truly impressive. You almost managed to surprise me. Hmm. He dodged it. That he did. Yeah. But it seems that you still don't understand your current situation. Your attacks can't affect me. I guess you're right. My attacks won't hit, no matter what I do. For now, at least. Is that so? Tell me, what would happen if that special crystal of yours ran out of energy? Okay, wait. I mean... We went from Goku not being the sharpest tool in the shed to Loki having kind of a plump brain. Like, I don't know what's going on. That's it. The Omnificence Crystal requires a price to pay for each wish it grants. Okay, so... Actually, yeah. Wait, but... Okay, it requires a price to pay, but we don't know, like, how loaded that thing might be. Like, just in case. Like, I don't know if he's able to, like, stockpile... On like all that stuff and then unleash it at like a later like moment so uh it might have I, I i don't know i don't know he uses energy from battles in the tournament of time but a lot of dudes have been bodied so <laughs> you've got it huh so you found out my little secret you betcha now all i have to do is force you to use up all that energy you've collected from this tournament even now, my crystal continues to amass power from the tournament's combatants. Uh, its strength is that of the combined energy born from every warrior fighting in this era. Okay. 
and you think you can stand against it alone. That's right. Is there a problem? Hm. Such delusions are fit for a fool. But with you, perhaps they are not so far-fetched. Truth be told, erasing your attack just now required quite a bit of energy. <laughs> That's perfect then. I hope you're ready, because there's more where that came from. That would be most unfavorable. All that energy I worked so hard to collect would completely dry up. At this rate, I've only got a few hundred years work. Bro, when I tell y'all Zaha is becoming one of my favorite Dragon Ball villains, bro. This man is insane, bro. This man said, man, you, like, that attack you threw out, man, like, I, I, I'm cooked, man. It'd be a real shame if I had hundreds of years of energy left over. That is insane, bro. Zaha is really that, like, like, Goku's the GOAT, but Zaha is actually him. You know what I'm saying? Like, he is him! He is! What? <laughs> you really got me there. Even I don't think I can fight for that long. Just as I thought. It really is impossible. Wait, what? Hello? Are you sure about that? Uh, hello? Wait, the Oracle Fish? We introduced the Oracle Fish. Whoa. Yeah, Goku won't be able to win. The Oracle Fish is literally Fax Incarnate. <laughs> like, that's all it is. Like, the Oracle Fish is Fax Incarnate. If he says Goku's not the dude to beat him, Goku's not the one to beat him. It's not going to happen. There's no way they can go around that. So, it's cool that Goku's in action. He's just not the one. Hmm. Even the Seer thinks so. Now what? That Zaha guy it seems pretty dangerous, you know. In that case, I've got one more question for you, Seer. Hello? Wait, Beerus? Oh, he didn't step in. Oh, Beerus, Beerus finna cook! Lord Beerus? Change of plans, Goku. It's my turn now! Oh, Beerus finna cook! It's- bro! Almost five years. Almost five. That was a solid dialogue chapter. Almost five years we've waited. Because originally Beerus couldn't do anything. Right? Because we already knew, like, you know, the secrets of, like, you know, how he's able to uh, be defeated very easily. Again, you just wipe out the that universe of Supreme Kai. So we knew Beerus was in danger. He couldn't make a move. But for a while now, Beerus has been able to make a move. And now that he's finally, like, face to face with Zaha, he can do something now. Oh, no, th this story's going crazy. All right, let's get it. Oh, man. Your turn? Dang, it even, like, Goku reverted and everything. What? That's not fair. I can still fight, you know. But fight is all you can do, isn't it? What we need to do is win. <clears throat> That's why I'm going to handle this. The Omnificence Crystal has a weakness. And I think I just fell. Hakai, it, it's the only thing that makes sense. What is one thing that's able to erase literally anything, both like existing, non-existing, real, and not real, right? What is one thing that can do that? Hakai. Hakai can purge anything. So he could quite literally delete all of those years of energy stocked up or somehow some way because i know the omnificence crystal is kind of like on par with like the super dragon balls like the precursor to it he could if he's lucky enough or whatever would happen is able to hakai the omnificence crystal that could also well potentially happen who knows but I, i'm sticking with more so him deleting the years of energy it saved up and then that way it's just an orb so yeah well now so if you fight zaha you can make him use up all of the crystal's energy of course not you're thinking about it all wrong you idiot wait really 
But what else can we do? Even if I told you, there's not a thing you could do to help. Hey, Whis. These two are, are gonna get in my way. Take them somewhere else. I'm counting on you. Got that? Yes, my lord. What? Hey, wait just a minute. You're not even gonna let us watch? Absolutely not. Anyone in this space is sure to become embroiled in their battle. Yes, a person who quite literally is a god and a person who has something that gives him the power of a god. And you want to sit there and watch? Bet, if you want to die, Goku, go for it. That's insane. Now we shall do as Lord Beer says and retreat. Let's go. You're gone. Dang. Hmm. <laughs> Those pests all have finally left us alone in peace. Now we can get down to business. It's strange. Goku's plan was your best course of action, even if it was a little unrealistic. But if you have a better one, I would love to see it. Ha! Yeah, no, you know what's coming, bruh. He knows what's coming, bruh. It's, you're taking beers too lightly. Like, you done messed up. Hey. You gotta pay more attention. We've already started. So hurry up and fight. You were impatient for God. <laughs> you might have a point there. I guess I'm a little distracted. Wait, what? What was that? That sensation? Wait, what? It was chilling? To be honest. Oh, you done messed up! Beer's gonna go in! Bro, the moment I saw the aura, I'm like, you messed up. You... This is part 14. Oh, what? It's not that often that I can really let loose. So having an opponent like you come along is quite exhilarating. Yeah, you done messed up, Zahas. Your cock is over! After all you've done, some would say your existence is comp uh, comparable to a god's. That you're just a fraud clinging to a fancy toy. Huh. Perhaps you can forgive me for resorting to this fancy toy you speak of. I have to face a monster such as yourself after all. Fine, I'll allow it. Use that crystal you adore so much. But I'm going to show you just how weak and vulnerable it really is. This is, man, this is how we're starting? Bro, what? Nah, bro. Th this is actually some heat. This is some heat, boy. I'm pretty sure we have to get him down to like 30% or something, right? Because low-key, we get LF Beerus as a unit we get to use. So I want to land like his LF. Yes, 30% or nice below. Shot. Darn it. Ah. Well, oh well. All right, let's get it. Uh, die. Yes. Extra power. Woo. Okay, you just threw that out. Bro. He's so evil now, bro. His main ability doesn't even have a name to it. What in the world? Bro, Zaha's so freaking cool, bro. Oh, I tapped on accident. Oh, well. Uh, yes. I'm not even going to be able to use the ultimate attack. Oh, well, cool. All right, back off. I mean, I, I just want to land. Well, okay. It, it wouldn't activate LF. There's, there's no way. It's just, there, there's not enough. Okay, so we'll we'll throw it out, but it, it's not gonna be all. But man, holy, this story's insane! That was a boy. Hey, that's God of Destruction beers, bro. Don't sleep on the goat. Don't, don't don't sleep on him. And that what's crazy is, I really mean that. Like Zaha is sleeping on beers. This dude beers is gonna go insane. Like what? Oh, nice. We got all these though. Nice. Okay, uh, there's a bit more. Uh, okay, so we still can't deploy uh, Shallot, so there's that. Uh, 
I just want to see like what the next bit of dialogue is. That's really it. Because uh, once we get to that, then I think that'll be like the stopping point for right now. I mean, I don't even know uh, how many um, chapters there are for the first book. So, I mean, we'll see. Uh, is he gonna be immune to this? Uh, all the debuffs, all of them. And Kamehameha, the original Kamehameha. I mean, I can take these hits. I am Master Roshi. Bro, that is such a sinister smile, bro. I am scared. Bro, die. Die there dang that felt damage what right, master Roshi before you can best me. Hey, that's, that's that's him. I, I'm still shook man. I I need dialogue. I need dialogue. I need dialogue I'm trying to figure out what's going on here Okay All right, so we knocked that out moving on Ha ah! I mean, you're absorbing all of that, but there has got energy, bruh. Such a futile attempt. Are you sure about that? Bro, this is him. Another dodge. But I can't help but wonder why. Surely you could have just nullified my attack. <sighs> Your Omnificence Crystal is a prototype Super Dragon Ball, so it has the power to grant any wish. Not only that, but it requires no cooldown between uses, and can continue to grant wishes as long as it has energy to fuel it. Isn't that right, Zaha? Correct. As long as it has the earth, as long as it has energy, the Omnificence Crystal is unbeatable. I wonder how much truth there is to that statement. Are you sure you're not hiding anything? Whoa. Hold on. Whoa, okay. What? I noticed something during your little fight with Goku. Was it... If... if the only thing I can think of is... It probably has... Like, uh, years worth of energy. The only thing I personally noticed is... He used the crystal, but not in succession. Right? If I recall correctly, he used the crystal to nullify it, um, an attack, and then he dodged. And then afterwards, he used it again, if I recall correctly. So, uh, if you can't use it in rapid succession, then all Beerus has to do is attack, get you to nullify it with the crystal, and then catch you during that cooldown, and then from there, um, attack. Yeah. All, all of this definitely happened. It did. Yeah. You chose to dodge his attack yourself without using that precious crystal of yours. Maybe it was too sudden and caught you off guard. No, that's not quite it, is it? Goku accidentally stumbled upon the Omnificence Crystal's weakness. A trade that it shares with the Super Dragon Balls. Wait, what? A cooldown period. Okay, so I, I was right. Because, again, I, I noticed it too, but I didn't know if it was just Zaha like doing something or if it was an actual weakness. So it is a weakness. The Omnificence Crystal is powerful, but it has a cooldown. And honestly, I, I can't believe I didn't even think about that initially because that's the same thing with the regular Dragon Balls too. After you make a wish, they, well, I mean, obviously, depending on the Super Dragon Balls, you know, the regular Dragon Balls, the Namekian Dragon Balls. Heck, even if you threw GT into the equation, even though GT's, you know, in Dragon Ball Legends, all good stuff, uh, you can even deal with the Black Star Dragon Balls because we've seen, like, Sin Shen and all that stuff. Um, when you make a wish, there is a cooldown period, and usually it would last for, like, what? Was it, like, a year or uh, whatever the case may be, right? And if I recall correctly, Super Dragon Balls is actually a longer time period. So, um... Obviously, if it's just a prototype Super Dragon Ball, right? Obviously, after you make a wish, you're not gonna be able to make a wish immediately afterwards. It makes complete sense. I can't believe I didn't even think about that till just now. I guess compared to the Super Dragon Balls, you could almost say it doesn't have one. It's so short after all. 
But if one were to attack during that window, just like I did, that right there is the Omnificence Crystal's weakness. Well, well, well. To be honest, I had no intention of hiding this fact from you. A cooldown period so short, you could almost say it doesn't have one. To call that a weakness? You and that angel of yours are the only two beings in this universe that could possibly target such a thing. Quite impressive. Now you know the power of the god of destruction. Theme. I mean, look, bro. I I'm pretty sure, like, Beerus is talking again. I can't hear the audio. I'll be able to hear everything in post, so don't worry. But all I know is Beerus is finna go crazy. That's it. I'll show you a world you don't know. A dimension of a god. Just let let him go insane. That's all I ask. Legends team, you, bro, look. No, 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 no. We're, we're not doing that. We're, we're going to do that in the next video. Just let Beerus go crazy. That's all I ask. Let him go stupid. Like, this is the perfect opportunity. For almost five years, you know, obviously real life. But uh, in the story, for a very long while, he wasn't able to do anything. And now he can? Bro, let him go crazy, I beg of you. But this is insane, bro. This is the first part of part 14, right? Part 14, book one. And it's already swinging stupidly hard. So I can't wait to finish this off. But I do want to know what you guys thought about part 14, book one so far in the comment section below. This, this is actually insane. But with that being said, I'm Itakuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.